Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Today, I answer the question, do I need antivirus software for my Mac? And the answer in a nutshell is no. <laughs> so a lot of people are concerned about viruses and worms. And I have good news for you there. There have been zero viruses or worms in the wild since Mac OS X came out that are targeted for Mac OS users. Zero. None. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't any malware, but it's all of the Trojan horse variety. So the user has to do something indiscreet in order to be infected. So like uh, going to a website that offers copyright content for free when it should not be free, especially if it says install this to watch, you know, run away. Don't go to those sites. So anytime you click on a blind link, uh, if you install torrent software, and you don't read carefully all of the messages while you're installing and lo and behold your internet search gets taken over and uh, you're helping some uh, hacker get micro payments by uh, you know having your your uh, web browser hijacked and you know looking at ads you don't want to see for products you don't want so that's that's criminal behavior in my book and yes, uh, there is software to remove it, and the best package is Malwarebytes for Mac. Uh, the fellow who wrote it, he got bought out by Malwarebytes. I think it was called Adware Medic for Mac. And he has a nice website, thesafemac.com, and he still runs that site. And uh, it's got documentation on how to manually get rid of all of these awful things that can attack your Mac. So you might ask yourself, well, why shouldn't I have that software? And the answer is, well, if you avoid those sites, you don't really need the software. The software is only needed if you've already got the malware and you want to get rid of it in a nice way without having to manually figure out how to do that yourself. So you can download the Malwarebytes uh, software for Mac for free or free trial. Uh, just keep clicking on the free version and uh, don't uh, enable real-time protection because you don't need it because it's just going to slow your machine down and you know be safe I mean you don't really need this software but um, you know at some point perhaps in the future there may be a targeted attack on Mac users and if there is we're gonna get hit pretty badly so those who have an offline backup will be safe from this sort of thing and those who don't will be messed up severely so but you know OS 10 came out March 21st, 2001. Now, that's a long time ago, and we still don't have any viruses or worms for the Mac. There are lots on the PC side. Windows Defender on Windows 10 uh, is pretty much all you need to keep your Windows 10 system secure. And on the Mac, uh, you don't need anything, basically. You don't even need to turn on the firewall. So, you know, is this kind of a lack of security on Apple's part? No, they're still working hard to increase security of the operating system and fix bugs as they're found. But, uh, you know, and should we com be complacent about this? No. But at the same time, as a Mac expert, uh, you know, I don't really think the software is needed. You know, if something uh, hits the Mac community hard, then and only then will it be worth installing all of this stuff and slowing down our machines because the software is a pattern matching algorithm. That's all it is, a pattern matching algorithm. So its job is to find a fingerprint of the bad software, identify it, and allow you to remove it. So they build that into a piece of software. Do you really need to have that? No. I mean, because what's going to happen when we get hit, or if we get hit, uh, this thing will hit hundreds of thousands of machines all over the world. And when it happens, the people who write the software will update their virus definitions files and deploy that. But until that time, so during that moment when this new thing, whatever it is, hits, you are vulnerable to attack. And, you know, can it happen? Sure. But is it worth slowing your machine down for years and years and paying for antivirus software or subscription for years and years for an event that might not happen and so far hasn't happened? Wow. I mean, we had a couple of years, uh, we were protected by Intego virus protection, a nice piece of software, fairly unobtrusive. I don't know that it slowed our machines down all that much. You know, that's the best case, something that really doesn't get in the way. 
but uh, no antivirus software has no fingerprint whatsoever, no effect on system performance. So why install it if you don't need it? That's my idea. Okay, so, and you know, uh, I might be proven wrong, <laughs> but, but you know, if I'm proven wrong, the people who have a good backup that is not connected to their machine at the time whatever virus hits, those people will be perfectly safe. And everybody else will be like, oh my goodness, you know. And the ones who have virus protection are no safer than the ones who don't until those virus definitions get updated to include the fingerprint of whatever new uh, evil software hits, uh, hits the planet. So will it happen? Uh, you know, I predicted it will eventually. Um, it happened a lot on Windows, and I think a lot of the... This is speculation on my part. I think a lot of the, the reason for the malware on Windows is that Microsoft was so universally hated back in the, the 90s uh, for their big monopoly and the way they took over companies and buried them, the way they killed Netscape. All those things that Microsoft did in, on their way to becoming you know, a trillion dollar company like Apple. So they have a darker history than Apple does, but Apple is starting to exhibit some of the same behaviors that Microsoft used to have way back when. And perhaps uh, some programmer out there will, will decide it's time to take Apple down a notch. Who knows? And again, when it happens, you know, uh, best case, you've got a good backup and you don't care. <laughs> it's kind of an, an interesting side effect. But, um, you know, real-time protection isn't really real-time protection. Real-time protection is protection against already known threats that are out there. And, again, all those threats are right now Trojan horse, nothing else. There's nothing that can just get through your firewall and get you unless you make a mistake like, oh, download this utility to make my Mac go faster. Really? Did you check with Google? Did you say, dear Google, is Mac Keeper malware? <laughs> Just to use an example. So, you know, Mac Keeper is one of these controversial packages that uh, supposedly is good for your Mac, but in the past they've bundled a lot of adware with their product. And, you know, if the user installs it and clicks OK, okay without reading all the license agreements, well, that's perfectly legal, isn't it? And the user okayed that install. And if it takes over their internet search and puts pop-ups all over the place, well, that's not their fault. They're just running a business, aren't they? And it's perfectly legal, right? Eh, I don't know. I tend to sue everyone who says something bad about them. So did I say anything bad? No, I just that they're running a business. They're keeping within the law, the letter of the law, anyway. So <laughs> would I install that on my machine? Hell no. Anyway, that's all I have to say about antivirus on the Mac. Do you need it? Probably not. And by the time something happens that you will need it for, it'll be too late. You know, and let's say it happens on the other side of the world and we have a nice warning and then the virus software can get updated. Then maybe if it can walk through firewalls, if it's a true virus or a worm, then maybe it might be worth buying the software. Until then, it's just money down the drain and performance down the drain slows your machine down for ages and ages for what? Anyhow, that's my two cents on it. This is my opinion. If you get hit by a virus, I will not help you. I will not pay for any damages you may suffer. So <laughs> feel free to disregard my advice or not, as the case may be. But this is how I feel as a Mac administrator for years and years and years. And, you know, I'm sure the Windows folks would love to not have any virus protection at all. But they're kind of stuck in a rut where they've always needed it. And now that Microsoft finally has something that can protect their systems, they're still paying all these other companies, Avast and so on, uh, to protect their systems because it's become a habit with them. And there's a lot darker software out there on the Windows side that can just walk right through a firewall than there is on the Mac side. And, you know, that's just the way things are. Uh, will it ever change? Who knows? So, you know. Is it worth buying the software? I think not. That's my suggestion. And I'm sure a whole industry will rise up and say, Jim, you're wrong. And yeah, I may be wrong. But so far, it's the year 2019. It's November 29. 29? Yeah, it's Black Friday today. And so far, still zero 
worms and viruses for the Mac in the wild. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Fade out.